We begin tonight with an update on a story we brought to you earlier this week. A Davis County woman was attacked at a gas station and her attacker drove away with her car with her dog inside it. Now, almost one week later, that woman and her dog have been reunited. ABC 4's Annika Johns joins us live from studio after speaking with the family of the dog about how they found him and how they're feeling now. Now, Annika, I can only imagine it's been a happy day for them. Sarah, it was nothing but love and kisses for little Rio today, who is home and in his owner's loving embrace. They say that finding Rio is nothing less than a miracle and that he was located not far from where the car was found with a family who says that a woman with red hair and a white SUV drove by, dropped off the dog and never returned. Oh, I am so glad you're home. A nightmare that's finally over. After almost a week of unknowns, dead ends, and hours of labor, the search for the eight-year-old Shih Tzu named Rio has finally come to a close. And his owners say it's all thanks to prayers, social media posts, and a gut feeling. Something inside me that was driving me to go down to the site where my car was wrecked. So we went down there, we hung some flyers, we hung some flyers, we'd already been down there, and we were actually in a parking lot and there happened to be I noticed a tent over kind of behind where you really couldn't see it too well. Inside the tent Thorell says was a man named John and when she showed him a flyer of Rio he said I just saw that dog a couple days ago. I said seriously where is he? With Thorell was her son-in-law who says that John led the family straight to Rio. Said that it was down in this homeless encampment down on the west side of Salt Lake. John then led the family to this camp and pointed out a motorhome he said contained the dog. I asked the gentleman, I'm like, do you got a dog? And he said, yeah, why? John, he's like, can we see the dog? He just wants to see it real quick. And he started walking towards the door of the motorhome and I just happened to yell out Rio and Rio come and poked his head out of the door. Weldon says he then grabbed the dog and handed him to Thorell. He continued saying there were no issues taking Rio from the camp. Thorell says that while this nightmare is over, the woman who's been charged with stealing her car and Rio, named Melissa Rush, is someone she'll never forget. But despite the horror she's been through, she says she is grateful Rush didn't do anything worse. I would say thank you for doing the right thing because she very easily could have thrown him from the car. Uh, Melissa's got some problems and based on what the charges have been historically with her, I was very, very concerned for his safety. And so um, I, would just, I would just say it may be the only time in your life, but you did the right thing and, and I am grateful for that. Thorell and Wilden confirmed that John did receive the $2,500 reward for bringing the family to Rio. Thorell also says that Rio was found healthy and with no injuries and was just in need of a good bath.